You know why people do what they do? The people who go after their stuff, what makes it worth it? It's got to be your passion. You got to love it, ladies and gentlemen. You got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You want to sing, and even though they want to invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're going to sing to anybody that listen to you, including singing to yourself. I used to talk to my plants when nobody else would listen to me. You got to write, even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Just go out there. It's possible you can get what you want. It's necessary. If you want it, you got to go into action. You got to be willing to experiment. You got to be willing to fail and to succeed. You got to be willing to form and to develop new relationships. It's you. It's on you. You got to make that happen. Nobody's going to bring it to you on a silver platter and say, "Here's your dream manifested." No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it. People ask, hey man, you know it's you know these kids, man, it's rough dealing with them. That's right. That's right. You think peer pressure happened overnight? We went through peer pressure. I remember as a kid, some guys say, hey Les, me and another fellow named Willie, lower. We were going home. Hey man, we're going down to Goose, man, and knock off a grocery store. I said, look here, I don't want no part of that. I see y'all later. Say y'all chicken. I said, that's all right. You say whatever you want. Low star. I'm not chicken, man. Don't call me chicken. Now why don't you come? We didn't even ask you to come in the place, man. All you do is just drive the car. That's all. I don't know how to drive that good. Well, we're trying to get Les to come. He's chicken. Hey, I'm not driving nothing. All right, Willie. Don't care about what they say, man. Leave him alone. You want to go do it? You find somebody else to drive, or you drive yourself. Come on, Willie, man. Pull him. He stop. I ain't chicken. All I gotta do is drive. Yeah, I said, Will, that sounds simple, man. Don't go, man. He went, and the next day we read the newspaper where, when they robbed the store, a robber came. They, when they came out running to a car, the merchant, the man who owned the store, came out just shooting wildly, and he hit the driver in the head. So peer pressure didn't just start in the 90s or the 80s. It's difficult. It is challenging for kids right now. And it's going to be take、um, some easy, simple methods to help bring them out of this madness, this insanity. No, is it hard? Yes. Let's look at what we've been doing. What has worked? What has not worked? Let's look at where we want to go. What is it that we want to produce? What is it that we want to create for our young people? And as we think about that, start experimenting with different methods and techniques to create and to produce that, and begin to believe that it's possible. Through our commitment, through our vision, through our determination, our relentlessness, because of our belief, it's possible that we can reduce the teenage homicide rate, the teenage pregnancy rate, the dropout rate. That it's possible. Looking at what kind of world are they going to be in? As we look at the global economy, that as we begin to use our collective will and genius and resources, it's possible that we can. Create an educational system that not only will test their minds with with information and facts and figures, but will teach them how to think and be creative. And what does it mean to be a human being and to value human life? And how do you make relationships work? How do you bounce back from adversity? It's possible that we can give them a curriculum that will give their lives a sense of purpose and direction and meaning, and teach them how to begin to know and operate on a higher level of being, where they become assets to our society. Rather than liabilities, what if we leave here with that kind of consciousness that it's possible, as opposed to saying we have to write this generation off? That it's possible that we were born for such a time as this and that. That maybe someone here has the idea or the method or some plan of action or an approach that can resolve many of the problems that we're facing with young people today. Whatever we have to do to save our children, it's worth it. So that brings me to the final step: that it's necessary for us to begin to look at the future and know that it's possible that we can have our dream. Yes, it is. 
Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail, and eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And we know that we want to get it. It's necessary that we align ourselves with people that think like we do. It's necessary we get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. We know that it's you, it's me. It's being responsible for our stuff and deciding that we're going to keep on keeping on, that we're going to find a way to win or find a way to make it happen. And we know it's hard. It's not going to be a picnic. Yes, it's hard. It's hard. And we will do it hard. And once it's, we do it hard and we go through it, we realize it was worth it. And once you discover it was worth it, it is done. It's done. It's done, ladies and gentlemen, before it happens. Well, here's what I'm suggesting to you. That when you're working, you have a wall to break through. Let's say a friend of mine who walks, he runs a marathon. He says, when he's running the 26-mile marathon, he said, let's say that hypothetically, that 18th mile is the wall. He said, Les, when you get there and you're running, he says, everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching. And you're saying to yourself, I can't do it. I can't do it. And you just keep on and you keep on and you keep on. It seems like you're moving at slow motion. And then eventually when you break through that 18 mile wall, then you know it's like done and you're on automatic and you glide on in. And you know it's there. You know you're gonna get to the finish line. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible and we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality we took the responsibility to make it happen other people couldn't see it a lot of people didn't believe it you were attacked you were criticized people were opposing you but you kept on doing it it was hard it was rough it was difficult but to you it was worth it and eventually you got to a level you know can nothing stop me now i'm on the move i'm on the move